Hamid sent us an email saying that in burial procedure, when we pray funeral prayer, then what? Here, a lot of the Muslims after funeral prayers or before, they recite Quran, make dua together, or after putting him to the grave, then again they recite. What exactly should be done? First of all, as Muslims, it is not the word of mouth that we practice our religion. So what we usually learn from our ancestors is not necessarily true. And hence, we have to go back to the Quran and to the Sunnah. And if we go back to the Sunnah, we don't see any such thing as reciting the Quran, making dua from the moment he died till the moment we uh, bathed him, till the moment we shrouded him, perfumed him, till the moment we took him to the masjid, till the moment we offered funeral prayer, then we carried him to his grave, put him down his grave, then put the uh, soil on top of his body and bury him. There's nothing prescribed. So is it open? Nothing is prescribed. So if you say, may Allah forgive him, may Allah uh, have mercy on him, no problem. Reciting the Quran is an innovation. And congregational dua before is also an innovation. Afterwards, it's an issue of dispute, especially when the people don't know what to say. So what is it prescribed? The only thing we have prescribed is that the Prophet wasallam, after finishing burying one of the companions, he said, Two things. Seek Allah's forgiveness for your brother. So, oh Allah, forgive him. Oh Allah, give him uh, uh, forgiveness. And ask Allah to make him steadfast. Steadfast on what? He's dead. Yes, but he's being now, he's being questioned by the two angels. Who's your Lord? Who's your messenger? What is your religion? What have you done in it? So these are questions posted and they are addressed to this deceased. So you ask Allah, Allahumma thabbithu. Oh Allah, make him steadfast. Oh Allah, teach him what to say and how to respond correctly. This is the time of dua, nothing else. So if you spend after the burial, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, facing the Qibla, seeking Allah's forgiveness for the deceased, making dua for him to expand his grave, to fill it up with lights, to open a window to paradise, to make him steadfast, etc. This is good, but there's nothing else other than that.